Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Wrapped and today I'm going to talk about one of the very first Android 11 custom ROMs called Pixin or Pixie N for OnePlus 6 and 6T. First, I'm going to show the features of Android 11 that are working on our phones. Second, it's going to be the general features like calling, VYLT, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and some other things. And finally, I'm going to show you how to install this ROM on OnePlus 6 and 6T. Okay, basically if you aren't tech savvy then you may not notice major differences between Android 11 and Android 10 but if you look close enough there's a big change on how notifications appear and the notification panel. Now we have three sets here, first for the conversations where the text from messenger apps show up, then normal notifications and below that the unimportant silent notifications. Next we have chat bubbles, the same thing as messenger's chat head feature which turns the regular notification into chat bubble that kind of floats on your screen. You can enable bubble chats if you go into apps and notifications tab, notifications and bubbles. Next you can access the recently dismissed notifications under the notification history, very useful feature if you accidentally close some notifications and want to check them back. The music player now shows up under the quick settings instead of the notification panel and if you have two music players open then you can access the other by swiping right or left on the music player in the quick settings. Let's say you don't want the music player widget to display after you close the app. It's possible and you can do this by going to the settings, sound tab, media and enable hide player when the media session has ended. Then power menu has been redesigned, now it's a full screen menu with three options, emergency, power, advance and the advanced option doesn't have multiple options like auction OS, here it only puts the phone into the recovery mode. Next finally we got the inbuilt screen recording feature with Android 11. For now there aren't many changes to change here, it records the videos at the same display resolution and for the sound you can select either microphone or device audio or both and it works just fine. Something has changed with screenshots too. Whenever you take a screenshot, the minimized screenshots show up at the bottom left of the home screen and you get the options to share or edit the screen just there itself. Finally within the recents menu, now you can select copy text from the open tabs and you can also take screenshot of those tabs. That's it about the major features of Android 11. Next about the general things that are working with the ROM, no issues with calls or mobile data, Vivo LTE is working, Wi-Fi is fine, so is Bluetooth and about Bluetooth codecs, LDAC and Aptex HD are working and so should AAC and SBC. Hotspot and GPS are also good with this ROM, no problems with audio or video and the alert slider is also working. The ROM comes with Google Camera pre-installed and majority of the things do work but sometimes you may notice issues while shifting from video to picture mode and the slow motion recording feature isn't working. Regarding the ROM performance, it's smooth and I haven't noticed lag anywhere. Under 2 benchmark score is 348980 and even the PUBG gameplay is flawless, no crashes or touch issues whatsoever. About the installation part, you need to download these 6 files and save them in the ADB folder of your PC or laptop and also on your phone. One is the OxygenOS 10.3.5 stock ROM which is the one you should be on or flash before installing the Android 11 ROM, then the Pixie and OS 11 ROM, TWRP recovery IMG and installer files, finalize zip to flash the firmware to both A and B slots and measures to root your phone. Ok, make sure your phone's bootloader is unlocked, boot your phone into the fast boot or bootloader mode via advanced reboot menu or via ADB commands. USB debugging also needs to be enabled via developer options in case if you wanna use the ADB commands to boot your phone to fast boot mode. Now that you are in the bootloader or the fast boot mode, connect your phone to the PC or laptop via Type-C cable. Go to the ADB and Fastboot folder, open command prompt or PowerShell within the ADB folder and now we are going to temporarily boot the phone into the TWRP recovery using the command fastboot boot name of the recovery dot img. So now we are in the recovery and the first thing we need to do is install the auction OS 10.3.5. Second install the Pixian OS. Third, flash the TWRP installer. 
forth flash the finalized file to copy the firmware to both slots. And fifth, go to wipe tab, format and type yes. By doing this, you are going to wipe the entire internal storage. So make sure you take a backup first before doing this. And that's it, you can reboot your phone to the system. One thing to note is that your phone reboots twice after getting into the OS. It's a normal thing, just let it happen and everything should be fine. If you want to root your phone, now you can boot back to the recovery and flash magisk underscore debug.zip and reboot your phone. Okay, that's it for today. Most of the things work and the ROM is stable enough to try as a daily driver. Personally, I haven't noticed any major issues. If you do, kindly let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you all in my next video.